What's up everyone? It's Chachi Power here with Rocket Punch Army to do another KO review, guys. I know you guys always look forward to those for you guys that love KO or people that just want to watch this just to see the differences and whoever's watching, welcome. Uh, today we have a, uh, another package from tfdirect.com. That's tf-direct.com. Check them out. That's where I get all my KO stuff, but they do have a bunch of other stuff available. It's not just KOs, but um, that's who I get my stuff from. And uh, yeah, so here's the box. We're going to do the quick unboxing. We're just going to unbreak the seal right up here. All right. And then let's see who we got. We have Transformers Masterpiece Blue Streak. We're going to go ahead and pull this out, show that to you in just a second. Comes in a nice bag here to protect it also. All right. And as you can see, it does come with the shoulder cannons. It's got red ones with chrome. Uh, with little instruction booklets also on how to use them. Uh, they're very simple to put on, no need for instructions. And let's open up the baggie here. And uh, I'm going to do a comparison this time with the uh, original box also, because a couple of my last reviews didn't have the original box comparisons, but I will in this one. So there is the uh, KO, and here is the original Takara. It's very difficult to tell the boxes apart. I mean, we got the original. It, the box is in great shape for the original. Uh, so you can't go by condition, but most of the time the KOs are going to be a little slightly more beat up because they, I guess they make them in a hurry. Uh, but it's going to be really difficult to tell. Uh, the, the Takara seems to be a little brighter when it comes to photography because they're obviously scanning it. So at some point during the scanning, uh, they're losing some of, not, not, not the detail, they're not losing the detail, but it's a little darker. I don't know if it's easy to tell, but you can kind of see the car's a little darker. But if you have nothing to compare it to, how will you know if it's uh, a KO or not? And my answer to that, it's going to be very difficult. Um, down here, there's no foil or anything like that uh, to distinguish. Uh, it's not like the Lamborghini ones, which had the hologram. So again, very difficult. The only thing I can tell you is the original, the numbers seem to be a little sharper punched into the box and these look a little bit uh, puffy around where they get punched. But again, that could just be the machine at the time that they, it, you know, whatever. There's so many factors uh, that it's going to be really difficult, guys. So as far as the boxes go, uh, at least on mine, this one seems to have a, more of a bluish tinge. This has more of a brownish tinge, uh, but you can see the difference in color. It's very slight color, but again, if you have nothing to compare it to, uh, you're pretty much out of luck. And uh, I wish I had more information on that, but um, you know, this isn't as easy to tell as the other ones I've seen. Now, an interesting thing, and this, and again, this can vary due to printing, but uh, the MP18 here, the background is purple while the other one's blue. And uh, I can't stress this enough. If if you can't really go by that, guys, because it's really up to the you know the printing press. But anything that's blue seems to be a little more purplish on the KO, at least in mine. All right. So you can see that here again. It's purplish background, blue on that side, and pictures overall are darker. So that's the box. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, open it up, and check out the tray and compare the two in vehicle mode. All right. So here I have the trays out, and I have to be honest. Uh, in between editing, it's taken me a lot longer than usual to figure out what's what. I, I really hope I don't end up confusing these two guys. But let's keep the KO on the left side, and we're going to keep the original on the right side. So let's start off by comparing the um, little included booklet with the uh, spec card, which, as you can see, is freaking identical. Uh, it does seem a little blurrier. Again, I always go over this a little tad blurrier. But you won't notice unless you have something to compare it to. So for you guys trying to avoid uh, getting ripped off with a knockoff, uh, since they are supposed to be a lot cheaper, uh, you don't want to pay full price for something you think is real, it's going to be really hard unless you have something available. But I think the very biggest thing here I've noticed that the KOs don't have is this little paper back here, a uh, little black and white piece of paper. I ha I've noticed uh, the KOs, at least the ones I've gotten, don't have that sheet of paper, so that might be a giveaway, although that's easily printed up if they decide they, they want to start doing that. Aside from that, same type of baggie, uh, same high quality print, 
Uh, again, since these have to be scanned, the pictures might be a little blurry, a little darker. But, I mean, it's, it's really, really good job these guys are doing. Uh, I don't think these guys are doing it on purpose to rip anybody off. They're just really just trying to make a low-cost alternative. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit scary how well they get that. And, and I know a lot of you guys are thinking these are factory rejects. They're not factory rejects. They're, they are positively done on a different mold. And without getting into it, because I've discussed it in other reviews, uh, just trust me on that. Uh, and also due to information I've gotten, uh, you know, on my own. But anyway, so the next thing is the trays. Again, the trays, very similar. Uh, the plastic seems a little cloudier on the KO, but not by much. It's still clear plastic. And, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and compare the vehicles. All right, so pop this guy open and this guy open put them right here and right here all right guys so here they are side by side again very very well done very close it's very easy to confuse these guys which is why I'm gonna try not to cross them <laughs> during the video very very easy I have uh, found little markings where I can tell the difference uh, but again very confusing uh, the paint on the knockoff Check out the gloss on that. Check out the gloss on the Takara. All right, Takara one's I guess slightly uh, deeper, the black. Although that's easily duplicated on this by just buffing it down with some kind of compound. But uh, again, both really nicely done. The actual color of the car, to my eyes, is exactly identical. I don't see one darker than the other. I don't see a different shade. Uh, maybe, maybe. The uh, great confused them. This, this is the original. Maybe, maybe this one's a little more on the silver side than the brownish side, but almost. I mean, check that out. Maybe on camera it'll pick it up better, but very slight difference in shade. Here they are underneath. Again, very well done. And the rear. And this is the original uh, Takara rolling around. All right, and this is the. KO, which uh, might not be aligned very well. You'll notice it's a little noisier, but it could be due to me not aligning everything correctly, which is completely possible since I transformed this quickly. But it does roll, just like the Takara one, although I am having better luck uh, rolling this guy around. Now, I was just showing you the paint on the hood. I do seem to have a lot less mess-ups on the um, KO. Uh, this one the reason it's so shiny, you guys might not have an original that's this shiny. I, I did polish this because there were a lot of uh, defects in the paint. There was like uh, little dust particles that fall on there. So I buffed them out like you would a real car. And you'll see there's like a line right there. There's like a big scratch or something right there, which I, I can't get out because that's actually rather deep. A uh, little disappointing. Uh, and you'll see a lot of dots there. And This is the original one we're looking at. And if we look at the... Uh, the hood on this one, it's got little, some of them are just dust, but it, it does have a couple of dots like right there, uh, but not as bad as the Takara one. So obviously your mileage may differ, you may have, you know, vice versa, but uh, at least on mine I'm very happy with the paint on the knockoff. No uh, defects anywhere else on the figure, which is, which is excellent, I like that, I, I don't have to worry about anything. The only thing I could pro possibly complain about is the cloudiness of the windshield. It seems to be cloudy on the other side. Maybe it's just uh, dirt or something, or not dirt, but like, uh, what do you call that? Mold release. But you'll see the Takara one is crystal clear. Uh, but the tops, uh, yeah, I guess the top also is a little cloudier on this one. Now that we've taken care of vehicle mode, we are going to check out robot mode. We're going to check out the transformation. So, uh, Let's put the Takar one there, make sure this is the uh, KO. Yep, this is the KO. So the, the uh, what do you call it? The transformation is obviously identical. It's the same damn figure. I'm going to pull this down. We're going to try and do this real quick for you guys. I usually tend to skip over this, but just so you guys can see how it transforms. Everything's nice and tight, by the way. I didn't really go over the, the panel gaps. Um, maybe I should do that. The panel gaps aren't bad. You'll see the door here, pretty much the same as a Takara, but uh, yeah, sorry about that guys, forgot to show you the panels, um, but I guess you can rewind and check them out, they're not too bad. 
and transformation again is identical might be forgetting a couple of things here and there but let's just do this so far everything tight I don't have anything loose as you can see everything staying where I where I leave it and that All right and pull the little heels out here that uh, spin the waist around once I pop this off All right spin that around Actually, I think I was supposed to pull these hands down first, but as you can see, it does not matter. We are still getting into robot mode. Uh, pop his head out through here. All right. If you guys want to see uh, close-up details uh, between the two, like paint and the face and everything, definitely want to check out my Facebook. I will put fi uh, pictures. I uh, will put pictures up there of uh, the faces up close and parts of the uh, robot up close stuff like that so I want to make sure to check that out I'm gonna pop this bad boy on whoops shoulders out of the way pops in exactly like the other one boom All right then just uh, fix the shoulders here and if the uh, the light the colors everything is washing out I apologize guys it's very hard to record a dark figure on a dark background and pop these out. All right, so here he is, KO Streak. All right, we're gonna put him there. I'm gonna turn this guy into a robot and then uh, be back. All right, so here they are in robot mode. Again, beautiful. Uh, figures are beautiful. All right, and high quality, both of them. I'm just so happy with them. Uh, but yeah, we got the Takara one here. And the knockoff here, so you can see, <laughs> not even differences, you're not seeing any differences. This is pretty much the same friggin' toy. And again, it's not factory reject. A lot of people will post down there in the comments that these are factory rejects. They are not. Um, so yeah, so look at them here and the guns. Let's check out the guns because there are slight differences. Not much. But enough to prove these don't come from the same factory. All right, so uh, all right, this is the great. Now I'm confused. All right, I think I got it now. This is the KO. Uh, very nicely done, the gun. Very nice molding. And here is the Takara. So there are very slight differences uh, in some of the detail of the molding. It might be a little harder to pick up on camera. Uh, but the, uh, the Takara one does seem to be a little bit cleaner with the molds, not by much. You'll see the seam line here is very straight here. It seems to have a little gap, a uh, little mess up right there. And there's also the thickness of some of these round pieces here. All right, so this is, yeah, that's knockoff <laughs> original. Sorry, guys, I, very easy to confuse. Uh, the knockoff does have a... I think a nicer, more metallic looking silver than the uh, regular one, which kind of almost looking great. And I think that's due to the fact that the metallics on here are very, very fine metallic uh, ground into the paint. This is uh, a little bit more, I wouldn't say sparkly, but it's more silvery. Uh, so again, very nicely done, the guns. One thing I forgot to get into while I showed you the uh, guns is the placement of the gun. You'll see it tabs in very good without having to bring his fingers over but you can surely do that and the fingers are nice and tight on there. Uh, the gun doesn't wobble around like it does on the side swipe molds and let's see what the Takara one is like. I believe it holds it well too. Yeah, The Takara one's pretty much the same in terms of holding the gun. Again the fingers are also firm on that one. So Bottom line, guys, this streak is actually really freaking good. Um, I hope this video helps you guys that want to avoid getting ripped off. A lot of people are looking to buy this as a knockoff. There's uh, knockoff buyers out there like me. But uh, what I think this really does help is for people that don't want to pay what they would pay for an original and get screwed by getting a KO. So this, this video is really meant uh, for, the, for that type of thing. If you want to make sure you're buying either the original or the KO. Uh, I, again, I do recommend uh, tfdirect.com. They do sell 
both versions usually of, of their masterpiece so definitely check that out alright so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the robots themselves the figure in case anyone's wondering it's not floppy and I'm not cheating I'm holding him by the crotch alright he's staying together he has all the same articulation that streak original does uh, the head sculpts are pretty similar there are a little bit of differences uh, which you can uh, see here you can also check that out on rocketpuncharmy.com my blog you can check out all the pictures that I was talking about earlier and uh, yeah overall uh, pretty much the same guys this is probably one of the reviews I really don't have much uh, to really tell you about distinguishing uh, again the only way to really distinguish is just having these side by side uh, plastics, they, the reds do seem a, a little bit darker on the KO, right? And here, if we take a look at the original, it looks like it's all the same kind of red. Not much of a difference between the red plastics there in the different sections. Here it's a little, whoops, almost dropped that guy. Here it's a little more visible. Uh, these two little triangle pieces on the side do seem a lot lighter than the rest of it and uh, again cameras aren't really great with red so it's kinda hard to see uh, but other than that I mean there's really nothing I can tell you guys uh, they really did their homework with these uh, figures they're built pretty much the same way uh, I am looking at the back detail it does seem to be finer detail or not finer but just uh, more pers I don't even know the word the edges of the molding uh, seem to be a lot sharper, not by much, I, I wouldn't say a lot, than the, you know, the little details here, but th that's really just getting down to being nitpicky, because it's really, really, honestly, nothing I can really show you guys to tell you, hey, uh, this is a knockoff, I mean, if you just handed me this and told me this was original, I would believe you, however, one thing I just, just noticed now, is the left and right here, there's a little L, and a little R right there is bigger than the little L's and R's on the original. Very hard to see, but it's right up there. A little dot. That's a that's an L. And this little thing down here is an R. So you can barely read them on a Takara, but uh, definitely a lot more legible. You see right there, the R is actually higher on there, and an L. And actually, one more thing: the little circle from the mold is underneath the R in the uh, knockoff and the little circle is on top of the R in the original so I guess that's one real good way to tell guys now the one thing that this does uh, pretty much blow the other one away uh, not, not only in pricing uh, but also the fact that you get the Amazon exclusive shoulder cannons alright so we're gonna go ahead and use those let me just open this up real quick Right, you notice if you can get it to focus. The uh, chrome is a very, very good quality chrome. All right, open this one up. On one of my KOs, I did get one that that had kind of iffy chrome. It was still good, but it was a little bit, a uh, little marked up. And here's the other one. So very well done, the chrome on these. So we're gonna go ahead and attach it to uh, streak here. Very easy. Let's bring this up a bit and around pop it in that way and actually we'll do that one and I just want to see if these fit because you can get these separate yeah, and they do fit the original also because uh, they do sell these separate once in a while um, if you don't want to buy the other third party ones out there usually these are a bit cheaper All right, and that's what he looks like with the shoulder cannon so oh guys and I, I almost did forget to show you something else uh, during car mode oh, I did forget but now I'm showing you. Uh, the Z logo, all right, seems to be better done. At least it looks better to me on the KO. There's actually the Z with a circle around it and then a bigger circle. And then the Takara, it's just a Z with a circle around it. So they, they put a little more detail into this one. And uh, here's a picture of it up close. So that was an interesting little bit there to me. Uh, we have, let's see here, we have a $40 figure and we have roughly 60 depending on uh, whether or not you guys were able to pre-order from Japan or still able to get it uh, but they're around 60 you know to 80 bucks uh, right now at least 
you know, for the regular Japanese Takara version uh, without the uh, shoulder cannons. And then we got the KO with shoulder cannons for 40 bucks. All right, so it's really up to you guys what you decide to buy. Again, always support the originating company, especially if you're going to end up buying KOs. You want to make sure the original company uh, is still going to stay in business because what happens? They're going to stop making them or a lot less, uh, what do you call it, releases, and then there's going to be nothing to KO. So we're going to get stuck with nothing. So, uh, yeah, so that's my bit of advice there. And... I don't know what else to tell you guys. Make sure you check out my blog, rocketpuncharmy.com. Make sure you check out tfdirect.com. And if you want to get five bucks off at that store, the code is RPA5. You get five bucks off your order. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.